Hey guys, so I'm sitting here with Hoogie. Uh, you guys might remember him. I did an interview with him earlier this year. Um, checked out a lot of his guitars and whatnot. He's done, uh, he's road crew for uh, Shinedown, formerly for Lamb of God and whatnot. Uh, you guys might have seen that Shinedown road, uh, road uh, <clears throat> tour video we did um, last summer in Syracuse. That was really cool. Got to hang out with the band, got to meet a lot of really cool people and just had a great time and that was, um, Thanks, courtesy to Hoogie. But what we're going to talk about today is his uh, company, WB Gear, and um, how they help people get endorsements. So yeah, tell us all about it. Yeah, WB Gear is something I started about uh, 10 years ago. Uh, okay. I started working with a company called SIT Strings first. Right. The shirt. Uh, and uh, I worked with different bands, even longer than 10 years ago, uh, more like uh, late 90s, early 2000s. So you, you've been on the road quite a while then. I started touring in and around 97, 98. Okay. Yep. Uh, so yeah, almost 18 years okay. going. So WB Gear helps uh, helps hook artists up with endorsement deals. Yeah, That's what I do is bring, uh, I, we deal with different companies from a string company, SIT Strings, uh, Picks, Intune Guitar Picks, uh, we work with a company called Big Ben's Nut Sauce, which makes a great product for uh, applying on your, your bridge or the nut of your guitar. I use that all the time, actually, in the studio. I found that stuff years ago. It's fantastic, especially because Gibsons can't fucking stay in tune to save their fucking lives. <laughs> They're great for anything, like Floyd Roses, whatever. Okay, yeah. yeah. Any, anything anything, that needs anything the string touches. Yeah, yeah, it should be lubed with this stuff. It's, yeah. it's really it's fucking a, it's, great. It's, it's, a, it's a awesome product that I've been working with for years. Okay. Uh, Mental Case, a uh, road case company. They Sweet. make a lot of my custom cases and whatnot uh, out of Nashville. Cool. Uh, Bestronics Pro Audio, uh, they're doing all my cables. Oh, right uh, Any touring band I work with that you've seen, Odds are I've wired up their rig with Bestronics uh, Pro Audio cables. Oh, looking sweet. Uh, they do everything pretty cool, even right down to custom patches and uh, patch bays, the works. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, and uh, there's a company called Guitar Gifts For You. Uh, they basically do embroiders on uh, straps so you can get, you know, your name on the strap or-, or Logos whatever, and that logo, kind of thing? stuff like that. Oh, fucking yeah. right. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, um, so what do you say to the kids at home who, you know, like see the great big glossy, you know, single page ads in the guitar magazines, that kind of stuff, you know, what, what do you say to the kid um, who's looking to score his first endorsement deal? It's, uh, it, it, you know, obviously you need, there's certain criteria, you know, okay. uh, one that you're doing something, you're out performing, you're out playing, even if it's locally, you know, uh, a few nights a week at a whatever, you know. Yeah, visible. Basically, uh, basically, uh, yeah, visible presence. Something going on. And it doesn't even have got, to be live shows. Got, it can, it can yeah, be social media. They got social media. It, There's a lot of you Instagram, know, Facebook, YouTube. They're basically going to promote the product. It's not you know, hey, can you give us this stuff? And uh, these companies, unfortunately, they're so small they can't afford to give out the world. So that's the one thing you know. When people hit me up for an endorsement, it's not necessarily free. It's, right. You know, it's cost uh, of manufacturing. You know, mm -hmm. it still costs these companies X amount to make the product, right. it's, you know, and uh, unfortunately, you know, it might not be fair, but those bigger, larger bands, you know, that who probably don't need the free don't stuff, don't need the free stuff, get, get the, the free, free stuff. stuff. Yeah, and, fair enough. And, yeah. OK, so basically what you're saying is if you're if you're trying to score an endorsement deal, be realistic. Be, yes. Yes. Don't expect like you're going to get you know all of your product for free as soon as you you get set up with us you know there's different levels uh from you know from uh cost to dealer cost and whatnot uh and no, as as you build a relationship uh the uh, endorsement will grow you know yeah and that that's 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 absolutely cool yeah. um okay now um here's something i learned last year at nam after sitting in a couple seminars and whatnot is a big what's the what's the biggest do not do because i can tell you what i think it is anyway uh, once you get an endorsement deal, uh, selling the product right yeah. away. That's, yeah. that's, you know, or, you know, I understand if you want to give a pack away here or there and of strings or something yeah, like that, you know, yeah. Hey, check this out. You yeah, know, that's helping promote that's the helping brand, promote the brand. That's, that's, that's the whole point of the brand. But if a company sends you a $2,000 rack unit for cost and you turn around and sell it on eBay, you know, you might piss them off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, given the fact that they're expecting you to 
use the stuff to promote right. it exactly tell people about it and again it's all about yeah. being visible if you're on stage you know and you're endorsing something you know that and that company is probably going to want to see their product up on stage with you social media instagram's yep. a big thing now yep uh facebook's obviously always been a big thing yeah myspace has died yeah uh so uh, how long how now how long do endorsement deals typically last uh what what happens with wb gear your endorsement is uh active for about a year and okay. if you do not place anything within the year of being endorsed with the company mm. and you don't have to order from every brand that we work with right if we're offering you this you know it, we're not making you use the product we just want you to use the brands that you like yep. uh you know so it could be just the picks it could be just the strings it could be just the cables it could be all three it could mm. be everything we have uh but basically once you order from one of our companies, you're pretty much good for a year. Right on. Uh, from okay. time of getting the endorsement. Okay, so uh, wbgear.com, um, his website, unfortunately, is still under construction. It's gonna, probably going to be, what, mid-November? I would hope to see uh, the new site out by mid-November. Okay. And uh, it's going to have a lot of changes from uh, social media pushes to uh, online orders uh, being able to okay. uh, take a lot easier. Yeah. Okay, well that's cool. Like I said, the main focus of this video was just basically, you know, what to be looking for um, for an endorsement deal. So it doesn't really matter if you're a guitar player or a drummer or whatnot, you know. If you're just starting out and you, you want to work with a company, it doesn't hurt to approach them and just ask, you know. But make sure you're visible and if you do get um, a deal, don't sell it. Yeah, definitely don't <laughs> that's sell just, it. That's just absolute career suicide right there. You know, you're trying, you're, you know, the company's there, they want, they want to get their products into artists hands but they want to build relationships and work with people and you know you're, you're just it's just a kick in the balls if you turn around and sell something that somebody gave you then it's just a big insult it doesn't help uh, relationships any <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure so anyway hoogie's back out on the road with shine down this fall um so if you're at a shine down show hey yeah wave say hey hoogie um hey we've also got the uh check this out we've also got the uh, the randy blythe book because well um hoogie did did um, how many years were you on tour with lamb of god i worked with them for almost five years now yeah and uh, he was showing me this this is this is autograph from randy himself this is a really cool read i, I want to get my own copy very soon I, a good friend of mine uh, uh, Rob Finn actually uh, owns a store called Cuts and Stash. I believe it's cutsandstash.com. Uh, but you can head there and he has uh, the books for sale. I think he does have some limited number of uh, pre signed copies that Randy signed. But uh, Rob was good enough to get me that uh, book when Randy was through the store. Oh, right. I, uh, yeah, I haven't seen Randy in person since the book came out. Oh, okay. Uh, right. But yeah, he uh, Rob let Randy know the book was for me, and Randy was cool enough to sign it up. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Since that's, that's very cool. All right, guys. So there you go. That's uh, that's Hoogie one more time. Like I said, if you see him out on the road, don't don't forget to say hello. Anyway, take it easy. You know, MySpace. What, what the fuck has anybody discussed MySpace in the last ten years? Just Justin Timberlake, doesn't he? Own yeah. it or something. Like who the that? fuck is Justin Timberlake? Come on now, you know who he is. Yeah, what's he? Jacques Lecoq in that horrible Mike Myers movie? <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't yes, he was. <laughs> anyway, okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, talk about yeah. Okay, okay. We're definitely gonna edit this part. I fucking hope. Anyway. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, he's gonna do a lot of editing.